Hey, what's up, y'all? I am back. And today I'm going to talk about something that you guys asked me to do a long time ago. And that's talk about free work. So just before we get into it, I just want to thank everybody that followed or subscribed in the last few weeks. I really appreciate it. And if you haven't done so already, take a moment right now to smash that subscribe button. So free work is always a topic of discussion, no matter if you're brand new, just got your first camera, or you're where I am in my career with a, you know, a full production company. There's always going to be people that want you to do free work or opportunities where free work will actually benefit you. So what I'm going to talk about today is a few different ways that you can ask yourself, is this free work going to benefit me or not? Or where to look for opportunity where free work for sure will benefit you. When I first got started and I just got my first camera, um, I had no portfolio, I had no you know, followers or subscribers, and I really didn't have any clients that were willing to pay me for anything. So in the beginning, it was very important for me to establish myself within the market and let people know who I was. And the easiest and most effective way to obviously do that is to reach out to different people that have the kind of people that you're looking to work with and maybe the following that would actually help you out a bit where you can go ahead and do some free work with them, get some content to build your portfolio, and then use that to start shopping around and showing the people that you actually wanna work with what you're capable of doing. Pretty much when I started, I was running around with anybody that would let me shoot at any event or whatever that I possibly could, whether it was a commercial, a big event, you know, an interview, a documentary, whatever the case was, I was trying to be involved and do my thing with my camera in that setting. And obviously the reason why is because I had a very strategic plan. I was gonna go there, do what I do, do it well, you know, network, make a few connections. And then at the end of that, I would take that content, edit it and shop it around to all the other people that I wanted to work with and actually get paid for. Now, something I'm just gonna let you guys know right from the jump, you know, eight out of 10 times, if you do free work for somebody, it's gonna be extremely difficult for you to start making money from them after the fact, unless you're like me and you're smart. If you ever want them to pay you for the work that you do, you need to lead with what you do and why it would benefit them. And the way that I would approach them, I would say something as simple as, hey, Mr. and Mrs. Client, I'm flash forward. I do this, that, this, that, this, that, whatever. I've been checking you guys out for quite a while. And these are some things that I can do that I think would help you guys move forward. And you just put it out there as transparent as you can. You want to help them grow in the areas that they're directing their content to. When you do something like that, it makes it really easy to open up the conversation and then say something like, so what I wanna do for you, Mr. and Mrs. Client, is put together this promotional video. You guys can use it on your social media and connect with the intended market that you want. And if this is something that works out well for you and you wanna do something like this again in the future, we can talk about some different packages that I offer to make that happen. When the approach is done that way, you're doing three things. You're introducing yourself, you're being professional, you're letting them know about the benefits of why it would be even useful to them to let you do it even if it's for free. And number three, you're keeping the door open. So if in the future they want what you do again, you have the ability to then provide them with prices. Now this is where you wanna be careful because as soon as you start getting some traction, you know, you start getting some clients and your name starts getting out there, you're gonna get clients that reach out to you actually with their ideas and their plans of how to make themselves grow but they would expect you to do the work for free. So now this is where you need to really start using your brain and how to explain why it's not free. Or you ask them a few questions to help yourself understand if this is a situation where you can actually benefit in the long run. So the easiest way for me to figure out whether or not that free work was beneficial to me in the beginning was to ask three simple questions. Number one, where do you plan on using the content I provide for you? So by asking this question, it really helps you understand just how far their reach is. You really wanna understand just how many followers they have on social media and how engaged those people are with this particular person. Number two, you definitely wanna try and figure out who their target market is. And that's obviously important because if they're asking you to come shoot an event where there's gonna be a bunch of, you know, let's say pregnant women learning how to become a mother, 
and you're not interested in shooting that, your main clients are athletes, it would make no sense for you at all to go and do that event for free because it's not helping you get towards the people that you actually wanna work with. And the last thing is really to ask yourself and it kind of plays off number two. Is doing this job gonna help me generate revenue? So you really gotta ask yourself, if I go ahead and do this for free and I create the content for this particular event or project or whatever the case is, and I put it out through my portals, will it allow me to attract and book the kind of clients that I actually want to work with. So another really good question that I was being asked was when did I personally realize that it was time to stop doing free work? Now in my case, I stopped doing free work once I quit my day job. Now, obviously without much being said, this is my only way that I, you know, make money and pay my bills. So I had to start charging for it. So another thing was I made a huge investment in myself to get all of the gear to produce content at a professional level where people are able to use my services to help themselves move forward. And the last major key component was I, I have clients, right? At the end of the day, people are contacting me every day and, and saying things like, flash forward, we need you to come help cover our event. We have a wedding, we have a commercial, we have whatever the case is. I just have clients that are willing to pay me the rates that I'm asking for, for the work that they need done. Now, occasionally I may do some free work, but it's really only towards the people that directly work with me and that I know will obviously help benefit me moving forward if I help them. But for the average client that reaches out, I create the expectation right away. If you need the level of service that we provide, you have to pay for it. And if you don't wanna pay for it, you think, it's, you think there's somebody else that could do it for less or do it for free or whatever, I encourage you to go and contact them. It's not to be rude, it's not to be cocky or anything like that, it's just, it's business. Like I said before, I have clients reaching out to me every single day, requesting my services for things that they need done to the level that I'm able to do it at. So what do you guys think? If you guys have any more advice on this topic, I would really love to see what you guys have to say in the comments below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. I'm gonna be giving away a lot of really good information for anybody that's in that creative space that's looking to take themselves to the next level and they just don't exactly know how to do it. So just one other quick thing I just wanted to let you guys know about. Uh, we have great news. Flash Forward is now providing full equipment rentals to all creatives. All you have to do is visit shuttershare.com, create a profile, then you can take advantage of any equipment that I currently own. So if you'd like to see everything that we have, you can visit my website at www.flashforwardmg.com rentals. And from there, you can click on anything that you want and go ahead and reserve it for your production needs. I also have to say, Shuttershare did not sponsor this video. However, Shuttershare, if you're listening and you guys wanna talk about some stuff, I'm all ears. Thanks so much, guys. You guys take care of yourselves.